The Leviathan's Breath quest has been released for season owners, that is, season of the undying owners. It is one of the briefest exotic quests we have ever gotten, and as usual, is pretty self-explanatory. The first thing you'll do is go to the tower and talk to Banshee. Banshee will tell you to go to a hidden location in the tower, and this is probably the hardest part of the entire quest. To get to the hidden room, first go to the hangar in the tower. You're looking to get to the ventilation shaft above the FWC clubhouse. To get there, take the stairs up, taking the stairs where Zur is and looping back is fine. Then you'll simply hop over the gap to get to that area and take the path forward. It's a straight path. When you get to a room where it seems like you can't progress, the next pathway is in the ceiling. Follow along on screen if you get confused. Next, you'll talk to Banshee again, who will tell you that you need to do some safe cracking. Safe cracking actually means playing Gambit or Gambit Prime. Just kidding, you can also do Nightfalls. All Nightfalls, 750, 920, 950, 980, are worth 50% progress, whereas Gambit is 25% on a loss and 35% on a win. If you can't do Nightfalls, normal strikes work as well. They are worth 20% per completion. After that step is done, you'll need precision bow kills on Vex or Cabal. You will need 75 total. I do not suggest trying to kill Vex with precision bow shots as it's just really annoying. So head to the Leviathan and kill all the Cabal that you want. If you don't want to go to the Leviathan, there are a bunch of EDZ Law Sectors that contain Cabal, there's also a good one on Nessus in the Cistern, and there's one on Mars in the Glacial Drift. After your 75 kills, you'll need to do a special version of the Arms Dealer Strike straight from the Director menu in the EDZ. This is a 900 level strike with the modifiers Harsh Elements, Blackout, and Iron. However, if you're any amount of levels above 900, this should not be too difficult and it has matchmaking too. The only issues you might have here are with the boss encounter as the boss has a fair amount of health and it seemed like more adds were spawning during the encounter. Just be aware of the lots of doggies that are spawning and the blackout modifier. The final step is to go back to the tower, talk to Banshee first, then go back to where you picked up the quest by taking the secret path and there's your Leviathan's breath. I am 950 base power and it dropped at 950 for me, although some players who are below 950 have reported a 951 drop. If you are at 950 or higher, it will seemingly drop at your level. Leviathan's Breath is pretty much what you'd expect a heavy bow to be. Very long draw time, pretty high damage. This bow will also stagger unstoppable enemies and has a knockback component when you draw it fully. It can hold 10 arrows, 11 with an arrow reserve, 12 with two. It unsurprisingly one-shots in PvP. As for very, very quick first impressions of the weapon from me, it's pretty fun to shoot massive arrows at a target and can chunk some things with a grenade debuff and divinity, but otherwise seems unlikely at the moment to break into top tier meta status. It seems tough to recommend when Mountaintop can deliver somewhat equivalent damage, although the bow is much easier to get. Izanagi's Burden is still probably going to take your exotic slot if you need big burst damage, and hand cannons can stagger unstoppable enemies with a single shot, but at least Leviathan's Breath has unstoppable built right in. Anyway, that's it for Leviathan's Breath. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.